How's it going YouTube and welcome to today's video install where we are going to be installing a brand new product from Metal Cloak. First step of this install process is to locate the evap canister. The yoke will take a little bit of gentle persuasion. So these tabs do not want to come off easily. This is the JKU rear dip skid plate. Um, so originally they didn't have any plans on making this. However, there was a lot of interest shown on the Facebook page. So the Cloak Republic spoke and the wonderful people at Metal Cloak decided that they would in fact develop and put out the rear dip skid for the JKU. Now I know we've all been there. We've been out on the trail and we're going along and all of a sudden we get hung up. The diff is one of the lowest hanging points on the Jeep and that makes it one of the easiest places for you to get hung up on a rock or on the trail. Now if you don't have a heavy duty diff cover then you're probably going to want to get one of these. If you drag the diff over a rock and you catch the lip of the stock cover chances are you're going to peel it back. So let's go ahead and get started and show you just how easy it is to install this thing. Before we get started we are going to need a 3 quarter inch socket. All the nuts are three quarter inch so you're only going to need the one and there are little teeth on the back of the nuts that are designed to bite into the steel. However I am going to still use a little bit of blue Loctite. Alright the first thing that we're going to do is get the differential skid plate into place. There are three U-bolts there are two different sizes there's one that is wider and smaller and that's going to go over the front where the pinion goes on the differential and then there are two that have longer shanks and are a little bit narrower they're going to go on the sides here and here now i'm not going to tighten these all the way down because i do want to make sure that the front is tightened down before i do the rear i'm just doing these to help hold the plate into place. Okay, now that we have the rear of the differential skid plate secured lightly, we're gonna start at the front. Now the fat U-bolt slides over the axle. And we're just gonna go ahead and get these bolts started. All right, and slowly tighten each side. You don't wanna over tighten one side and have one loose. You want it to sit pretty flush. So we're just going to do a couple on each side until we get it good and tight. Okay, so now that we have the front good and tight, we're going to start with the rear. Now I did put a little bit of Loctite back on the U-bolt. So we're just going to get it on there and go ahead and tighten it down. Now again, make sure you get both sides of the U-bolt even. You don't want to over tighten one side and have it too loose on the other. Well there you have it. As you can see this thing fits really really snug up against the uh, rear diff and it does provide a smooth surface in case you do hit a rock. Hopefully you'll be able to glide over it a little bit easier or you know just add more protection. As you can tell this is a very easy install maybe 10-15 minutes at max. Uh, it does add a lot more protection to your rear diff and it gives you a little bit more confidence while going over the rocks. As always, if you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner.